Hi there. I'm going to be unboxing my Try the World box. Um, I love Try the World because it, every month is a different country. Um, but last week or a couple weeks ago, I unboxed my Try the World box and I was really disappointed. It was Japan and I calculated the value and it was just under what I paid, which is $39.99. Um, I wrote to the company and I told them that I was disappointed with it and to make up for it they sent me another box. This one is France. Um, I haven't opened it yet but I'm going to look at the items and I'm going to calculate the, calculate the value and if it's the same I'm going to go ahead and cancel the subscription. It's unfortunate because I really enjoy this box. I really like trying new things from all over the world. Um, I love to travel. I've been to several different countries and trying the cuisine in all these countries is my favorite part, um, which is why I started subscribing. Since I sub started subscribing, I've gotten Brazil, um, let's see, Brazil, Spain, Portugal, uh, Sweden, Thailand, and Japan. So this is, like I said, they said that they were sending me the France box. So let's see what's inside. Uh, in the top, it has a little um, insert, I think is what you call these things. And it says France box, culture guide. So inside these things, there's... Um, it, it talks about each product, what they are, what they can be used for. So we'll wait to, to see what those are. There's another one in here. This is a $10 off code for Drink the World. Alcohol delivered. And it has a uh, uh, $10 off your first order. Wine, beer, and liquor delivered fast. And then there's um, Hello Fresh. Everything you need for home cooked meals. Get $35 off your first box. $35 off, that must mean it's a really expensive box. I'm not going to be needing that. So, some coupons. And the only thing I hate about these boxes is this really messy packing. It, I don't understand why they do this. It's awful. So... Be careful with that. Already made a mess. There's quite a few items in this one. So first we have, I'm not going to try to pronounce this stuff. There's no way. I speak German and Spanish a little bit, but not French because it's way too hard to pronounce. So let's see. This says, well, let's look at it from here. All right. Looks like this is tea. So, Palais de Thay emerged when two tea lovers discovered their shared passion for the infusion. The company's founder, who sources fine aromatics from around the world, and an aroma expert who blends them together to create delicious teas. I. It seems like... It seems like there's tea in every box I've gotten. I have yet to try any, mostly because I don't like tea. So one of these days, maybe I will. Or maybe I'll have somebody come over and let them taste it. So we have a jar of whole grain mustard. I have a terrible glare. I'm sorry. I like putting mustard in everything from sauces to my meatloaf. Um, so... I love, I love getting mustard in these boxes. Whole grain mustard, Domaine de Vigne. Mustard production in France dates back to the Roman Empire. Now in the city of Dijon, the mustard capital of France, Domaine de Vigne uses quality mustard seeds and vinegar distilled from Bordeaux and Charente wines to make this rich, tangy mustard. Normally, this has a... Um, 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 serving suggestions. This one doesn't. I'm surprised to see that. It's too bad because I really like doing that. Okay, next we have another box, a squished box of Christian Potier, I think, uh, peppercorn sauce. I love having sauces in my cabinets to use whenever I see fit. 
These come, this comes in three little packets, microwavable packets, actually. Hmm, that sounds like it would be really good on beef. Maybe chicken, I don't know, but that's something that I would probably use for beef since it's peppercorn. Um, okay. Created by the acclaimed sauce expert of the same name, Christian Paillet, this peppercorn sauce makes it easy to discover the authentic flavors of regional French dishes. This sauce is typically served with steak, but it's delicious with poultry, rice, or pasta as well. We will try that. Mm. Not gonna try to pronounce that. That's what this is. Butter cookies. Since 1888, these cookies have been made using rich butter from Brittany. Mrs. Pollard's first became oh, Mrs. Pollard first became famous in picturesque Mont Saint. Michael, off the northwestern coast of France by feeding pilgrims who were visiting the island's medieval cathedral. I'm going to go ahead and try these, if I can get them open. They're very dense. Hmm. They're not bad, but I don't like them. Um, I can tell somebody would like them. They're not, they're definitely not by any means bad. I just don't like the flavor. Next we have chestnut spread. See, this is why it would be good to have the serving suggestions on here because I don't know what I would use that for. So let's see what it says. Chestnut cream. After founding a candied chestnut company in the mountainous region of Ardeki in 1882, Clement, I don't know the name, began making this incredible spread. This Ardeci is so famous for its chestnuts that their authenticity is protected by an organization called the AOC. So I'm going to have to do some research to see what one does with chestnut spread or chestnut cream. And there's um, a cute little container. Looks like salted butter caramels. Hmm. The recipe for these chewy caramels made with butter and sea salt from Brittany was born in the summer of 1946 when the French celebrated peace and their return to Brittany at the end of World War II. Enjoy them with tea or straight from the box. I'll try those in a little while, I think. Got two more items in here. Looks like fig jam, I guess. I love jam. I love, I have so many different kinds of jam in my refrigerator. I have only used a couple of them, and those ones I've used, I've used at one time. Um, but I like having them. Let's see. On the northwestern coast of France, near Mont Saint Michel, Luci Pelletier, Pelletier creates premium herb blends using organic and sustainably grown aromatics. This blend is particularly good on fish, though which though it works well with meat and vegetables too. So it uh, doesn't look like it's for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> mm, I don't like that at all. I also don't like figs, so that may just be me, but oh, I do not like how that smells. There's one more thing in here. Do not know what this is, so let's read about it. It's all in French. Okay. Herb blend. On the northwestern coast of France near Mont Saint Michel. Oh, that's okay. So I was reading that for the other one. Let's see. 
the fit let me go back to the to the fig one because I was reading that wrong that is fruit jam um, 25 acres of family-owned land in Corsica Charles Antona grows fruit with the help of local farmers and artisans in keeping with his grandmother's recipe Antona adds Mediterranean herbs to heighten the flavor of his delicious spread so that was the fig the fig jam I just smelled and then this is the herb blend which um, I just read to you. So it's, it's, it's like a seasoning. Mm. Ooh, it smells really good. That actually is really, really good. I'm going to be trying that soon. So yeah, it says that you can use it on meat, poultry, uh, vegetables. And the scent is really robust I would probably be able to I can think of a lot of things that I do with it so that's it so at this point I really like the quality of the items but I don't know the value yet so I'm gonna do some research I'm gonna look that up and as long as the value is above what I paid for this box which this one was free but it would normally cost $39.99 so as long as um, as long as this box is uh, has a good value, then I'll go ahead and keep my subscription. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I've already paid for next month, so we'll see uh, what that one is too. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Check out the description of this video to see um, what, how that ended up. All right. Thanks.